Hello, what's up YouTube? Uh, recently, I have been dealing with a tank that has been struggling with blue clove polyps. So, uh, if you are not aware of uh, what a blue clove polyp is, uh, it is actually a type of uh, pest which is a blue or purple color that is pretty invasive. Now, upon further research on the internet, I have found this uh, interesting uh, article from uh, Max Draco website, uh, which claims that he can kill uh, blue cloth polyps with fembendazole. Uh, so, uh, what is fembendazole? Uh, fembendazole is a type of dewormer that is being used for pets or agriculture animal. Uh, you can get it uh, without prescription from uh, online. So, uh, I have decided to try this uh, method on the tank. Okay, so if you're keen, you can uh, have a look at the uh, Max Draco website, which I have included on the description below. So according to the website, the uh, dosage for Fembendazole, uh, 1 gram treats around uh, 111 gallons of water, uh, which I converted to uh, 100 milligram of Fembendazole, 22.2% uh, uh, intensity will uh, treat 420 liters of water. Uh, now a bit of warning, uh, you should proceed uh, this treatment with uh, cautious as it will kill a lot of uh, other stuff as well, especially if it's from a Xenia family coral. So uh, it is known to kill uh, polyps coral, uh, clove polyps, uh, GSP, uh, posing Xenias and other types of Xenias coral, so you should proceed with caution. So uh, after I have determined my dosage, uh, I proceed to uh, board this uh, pentacle which is uh, Fembendazole and I've decided to use it on the uh, one of the tank. So uh, instead of uh, mixing with water and dosing with the water, uh, I have decided to add the uh, fanban dissolve uh, directly to the tank. I have also turned off the skimmer and removed any uh, carbon that might dissolve the fanban dissolve. Okay, uh, after a few hours of adding the fanban dissolve, I have noticed that the uh, clove polyps uh, doesn't seem to be uh, happy and it seems to be shrinking. So after more than 12 hours, I have noticed a huge difference on the clove polyps. Uh, it has completely shrunk and uh, it's probably dissolving due to the fanban dissolve. My other corals uh, such as SPS, uh, Zoantids and Anemone seems to be behaving normally. So uh, 24 hours later, the uh, clove polyps has completely dissolved. Uh, I have also lost a couple of uh, GSP uh, pausing zinnias along the process. So I guess I will leave the uh, Fembend Dissolve in the water for a few more days to completely eliminate the uh, blue clove polyps. Okay, a few days later, the blue clove polyps has uh, completely dissolved. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, Swantids are opening up slowly.